Hey guys, it's um, Butterdoll381, or known as C or Sierra. Um, if you've never watched one of my videos before, I basically just do um, like tutorials, and sometimes I do blogs, and sometimes I, I just do a whole lot of stuff. So um, if you haven't checked those out, I have two videos below this one, and yeah. But anyways, this is one of my new channels, and yeah. Um, sorry, I keep playing with my hair, I just did it. So today I just wanted to talk about my first tattoo experience, which I got my tattoo last week, and I didn't get to make a video earlier about it because I was still in school and I was doing exams and all that other fun stuff, but um, a lot of people have been asking me about it, like um, when I went to school and stuff, and I basically thought, okay, well, if everybody else is this interested, then I'm sure my YouTube viewers and stuff like that would be interested too. Sorry guys, I need to move this over. Um, so I thought I would show you guys the tattoo and then I would tell you all about what happened and um, what it felt like and yeah. So anyways, I'll show you my, my uh, tattoo and it's on my right foot. Um, it's like, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll move it up. There it is and it's on my right foot and it's a butterfly and um which you know I love butterflies not only because I'm a girl but also because I feel like butterflies like represent freedom and yeah but a lot of people told me that my butterfly was a typical girl tattoo which if it means something to you and it's something close to your heart or something that you love or something that even represents who you are or somebody that passed away or just somebody that you want to you know get something for um, I definitely recommend it. Mine is for for me, and not only because of me, but my great great grandma. She had all these butterfly like the bookmark pens and the pens, and she used to have the pens for her shirt. And like I'll never forget it. Like she always had owls and butterflies because she but she loved both of them. So that's what kind of inspired me to get this one. And not only because like of that, but I love butterflies. The butterfly cages that you got when you were a kid. I don't know how many people did it, but um, the caterpillars that would, you know, make their um, cocoon inside of the little stand, and like, then when the cocoons like opened up, you got to set the butterflies free. That was always my favorite thing as a kid. Um, and now I am underage for my tattoo. My mom had to sign for it, which if your parents aren't willing to sign for it, um, there's probably a reason why, even if they say just cause. Um, it's perfectly normal. My mom said yes, um, because I've been begging for it for five years now, so, yeah, that kind of, like, inspired, like, I don't even know, but I had a lot of questions asked about it, and many people didn't think it was real, but it's it's certainly real, it, um, hurts, actually, well, it did hurt yesterday, now, t today it itches, um, because the skin is starting to peel, and, yeah, you have to lotion it and use antibacterial soap a lot, which, um, which for me was really easy because I've been using the lotion a lot. I use Eucerin on my tattoo. Um, they tell you to use Eucerin, the um, baby lotion from like, um, what is it called? Johnson & Johnson. They recommend, um, I don't know, what else he recommended? Curel, I guess that's a good one. Um, there's many things that you can use on a tattoo. Just if you have a tattoo or you're thinking about, a get a t like thinking about getting a tattoo, I know you probably hear this a lot from like your parents, or your friends, and they're like, well, make sure it's something that you're willing to stick with for the rest of your life. My butterfly, of course, I can stick with that for the rest of my life. It represents the um, meaning of my grandma and me, and the colors mean, um, mean actually a lot to me. And if you got to see that, the colors are pink, blue, um, there's a little bit of purple, but you probably can't see it, which it's in the white. And then I got yellow and white and black. And all those colors represent me as a person because I'm a Gemini. And as you, if you don't know this, but Geminis have split personalities. They're known as the twins. Um, and I definitely show both of my sides. And sometimes you can tell that, but sometimes you can't. And sometimes people are like, why did, why did you just get like mad all of a sudden and just like blew up? I've never seen you do that before. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, that's just, um, that's just something that, yeah, 
that's just me. But sometimes I can be outrageously happy and sometimes I can get outrageously mad. And it's basically what it is, is the twins. It's counted as the twins. Um, if you believe in the um, symbols and horoscopes, I do. I mean, I believe in that kind of stuff. And the um, butterfly also represented freedom because I get, um, like, freedom from doing fun things. I get freedom from hanging out with friends. I get freedom from hanging out, with con or hanging out at concerts, going to see bands, you know, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's really what it represented, and it just played a big part in my heart. And a lot of people told me that it's ridiculous that I got a tattoo because I'm only um, I'm still in my high school years. Uh, yeah, but people told me it was ridiculous. I got major judgment from my family. Um, they totally didn't support it. But I mean, it's who I am as a person, and I hope one day I'll get more tattoos. Um, not like covering my whole body or anything, but things that I like and that's close to me that I can have and if people ask me about it I can be like yeah I have this and this but then they understand like my family it took um, I just talked to my grandfather yesterday about it and he was not too happy about it but I kind of told him what it was for and um, the meaning and how much I loved it and he sort of understood but at the same time he was very frustrated with me um, not only is he frustrated with me, but he's frustrated with my mom. But it was my birthday present from um, some really close friends. And they're, they actually used to be my neighbors, and they're moving away. So it meant a lot more to me. So, yeah. But other than that, like, um, the pain, it isn't too bad. I mean, the last two colors were the worst. And the worst experience I probably had with this was afterwards when it really hurt and, like, I just felt it felt it feels like somebody's like razor blading off your skin um, that's like the worst part other than that it's pretty easy um, the outline was like if you've ever had like you know the lead from pencils if you have you you've probably done this as a kid I know I did I don't know if I'm weird or not but um, if you like you know get the lead underneath your skin it doesn't hurt but it stings that's how the outline felt the colors inside were um, really painful so, I'm, I mean, I could have a really, really high pain tolerance. If you have a low pain tolerance, it could probably hurt worse. Um, but, yeah, afterwards, you just want to make sure and use antibacterial soap and um, lotion it a lot. And anytime it goes to itch, you just have to smack it, which is kind of annoying because it really itches and you just want to dig your nails in. But, I mean, it's, a, it's like a pain in the butt to go through, but it's so worth it. Um, I couldn't ask for a better tattoo. Um, yeah. And I can't swim for a month, which is really hard on me. But at the same time, I cannot wait to see what the finishing is. Um, yeah. And hopefully one day I'm going to add to the tattoo and make it um, maybe a little bigger. But with the profession I'm going into, um, which is going to be hair and makeup, I know that probably sounds really bad, but. That's what I love to do, and if you ever see my other, like, videos, they're on makeup and facial stuff, and yeah. So, yeah. Um, that's about it, and if you guys have any more questions or you want to know any more, I'd be happy to make another video about it. Just leave your comments in the box below. Like it. Dislike it. Tell me what you guys think. i love to have you guys inbox me um, and subscribe to my channel. Alright, thank you guys, um, yeah, so, bye!